Hi, my name is Ben Jones, and I'm here as a subject matter expert for Wiley Efficient Learning. And I'd like to show you just a couple things about the CFA exam, particularly related to some questions you might see as you go along. Now, first of all, I love accounting. There's really a lot of information that you can gain, and it's the language of business. And here, as we talk about either expensing something or capitalizing it, it, it's a really great ground for the examiners to ask you all kinds of different questions. Now, in this question, we're going to find out what the difference is, and they're going to give you some different types of answers. So let's take a look at this first question. You got a company, and it capitalizes instead of expensing something. And it asks you what mostly likely happens as you report this information. Now, the first item says, hey, net income is going to be higher over the life of the asset. The next one says shareholders' equity is going to be uh, better over the life of the asset. And the last one talks about the cash flow from operations is going to be higher compared to the company that expenses the cost. Now, hopefully, you're very comfortable with the idea that whether you expense it or capitalize it, if you do it uh, over the period of time that you actually depreciate it, those two items are going to be exactly the same. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth on that in just a minute, but you can automatically cross out A and B. But the question is, is that from a cash flow perspective, what happens if you actually capitalize something, you're saying that it has future value, right? And that capitalization is going to go into cash flow from investing. So capitalizing goes to cash flow from investing. However, if you expense it on the other hand, that actually goes into our cash flow from operations. Now, this is a very big difference. And the reason that it's a big difference in this particular instance, and I'm just going to use the number 300, and we're going to try to keep that consistent, that your cash flow from investing means that you spent $300 on this asset, and your cash flow from operations is going to be zero. However, if it runs through the income statement right away, you're going to see 300 come out here and zero come out here. The big question, though, is whenever you're looking at cash flow, one of the most important uh, categories you're looking at is cash, cash flow from operations. That's where you look at the company in order to figure out how much cash is being thrown off by the core enterprise. And when that throws off cash, that's what you use in order to value the company. So by moving it to CFI as compared to CFO is a big difference. So if we pull up those answers once again, we're going to say that over the life of the asset, you're going to fully depreciate it exactly like you did when you expensed it. It's just going to take a couple more years. But if you add them all together in the aggregate, it's going to be exactly the same. Therefore, any of that income or profit that goes to equity on your balance sheet is going to be exactly the same either way. So at the end of the day, this one says a company that capitalizes an expense most likely reports higher cash flow from operations, right? Higher cash flow from operations, they're not going to have a negative, then compared to a company that expenses the cost. So the answer to this one is C. If you want to dig a little bit deeper, come with me to efficientlearning.com slash CFA.